Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. Je déclare l'audience ouverte. Today, the chamber will hear Aujourd'hui, la Chambre entendra la déposition de deux DCW 1046. Madame J. Sovan, veuillez faire état de la présence des parties et autres personnes à l'audience d'aujourd'hui. Witness through an oath this morning before the Adam Statue and his Mr. Mamberti as his duty counsel. Maître Mamberti et son avocat permanence. Merci. President, thank you. And the Chamber now decides on the request by Nunchia. The Chamber has received a waiver from Nunchia. La requête de Nunchia. La Chambre est saisie d'un document de prononciation déposé par date du 31 octobre 2016, où il indique par raison he cannot sit or concentrate for long, and in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requests to waive his right to be present at the 31st October 2016 hearing. He advises that his counsel advised him about the consequence of this waiver, that in no way it can be construed as a waiver of his right to be tried fairly but to challenge evidence that presented to or admitted by this court at any time during this trial. Having seen the medical report of Nunchia by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC dated 31st October 2016, which notes that today Nunchi has a Celui-ci constant lower back pain Nunchia when he sits for long and recommends that the chamber shall so grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to 815 of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nunchi his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs via an audiovisual means. The chamber instructs the every unit personnel to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nunchi can follow. That applies for the whole day. Court officer, please usher the witness and his duty counsel into the courtroom. Le témoin et son avocat permanence dans le prétoire. President, good morning, Mr. Witness. What is your name? Bonjour, le témoin. Quel est votre nom? Witness. First, uh, 
My respects to Mr. President, and my name is Ian Pan. Monsieur le Président, je vous présente un mise en marche. President, Mon thank you. Ian and Pan. when were you born? Le Président, merci. Quand êtes-vous né? And uh, I was born on 28. Réponse. Je suis né le 28. 1952. Mars 1952. Question. And Question. where were you born? Où êtes-vous né? It was an Angknot village. Angknot. Tramkok, Takeo district. Tramkok, province de Takeo. Question. And where is your Question. present address? And what is your Quelle present est votre occupation? À l'heure actuelle et votre profession aujourd'hui. Réponse. Currently, I'm in uh, Bain Village, Andongvel, Sankai, Batambang province. Sankai, and I am a soldier. Je suis soldat. Question. Question. What are the names of your parents? Comment s'appellent vos parents? Answer. Réponse. My father is Mon Impo, père deceased, and my mother is Ongmet, deceased. Ma mère, Ongmet Question. Décédée. What is your wife's name Question, and how many children do you have? Et combien d'enfants avez-vous? Réponse. My wife is Dong Oon. Ma femme s'appelle Dong Oon. And we have five children. Et nous avons cinq enfants. President, uh, thank Le you, Mr. Ying Pan. Merci, Mr. Ying Pan. The graphy made an oral report that, to your best knowledge, you are not related by blood or by law to any of the two accused, that is, Nanji and Kiel Sun Paul, or to any of the civil parties admitted in this case, and that you already took an oath before your appearance. Is the report accurate? Est-ce que ce rapport est exact? Answer yes, it is. Réponse oui. President, thank you. And the Chamber would like to inform you of your rights and obligations as a witness regarding your rights. As a witness, Mr. Impan, in the proceedings before the Chamber, you may refuse to respond to any question or to make any comment which may incriminate you. That is your right against self-incrimination. Regarding your obligations, as a witness in the proceedings before the chamber, you must respond to any questions by the bench or relevant parties, except where your response or comments to those questions may incriminate you, as the chamber has just informed you of your right as a witness. You must tell the truth that you have known, heard, seen, remember, experienced or observed directly about an event or occurrence relevant to the questions that the bench of parties pose to you. And Mr. Vines, have you been interviewed by OCIJ investigators? If so, how many times, when and where? If you can recall them? Si vous vous en souvenez. And so uh, I was interviewed uh, once Réponse, in Batambo, and Batambon. I was also uh, interviewed here on Et another occasion. Ici. Question. À une autre occasion. And uh, Question. when was the uh, interview in Batambo conducted? Quand à and a do you also recall uh, the year at least that you appeared uh, before this chamber? À laquelle vous avez comparu devant cette chambre? And uh, I cannot recall uh, Réponse, clearly about the interview uh, in Batambo. It is probably in 2010 or 2011. Ou 2011. Question. So uh, you were interviewed for one time Question. in Batambang province, and did you come to testify uh, before this chamber, or were you interviewed uh, somewhere within the ECDC compound? Devant la chambre, and uh, vous été I testified before this chamber, President, and réponse. before your appearance, comparu, have you read the written record of your interview that uh, took place in Batambang in order to refresh your memory? d'audition menée à Batambon afin de vous rafraîchir And, la mémoire. Uh, I reviewed, uh, réponse. 
the written record, both uh, the questions and the answers. Relu. Question and to your best knowledge and recollection, can you tell the chamber Question whether the written record of interview that you have read is consistent with what you uh, told the investigator in uh, Badambong province, which might have happened in 2010 or 2011? Probablement uh, mené en 2010 ou 2011. Uh, 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 Selon moi, d'après mes souvenirs, à l'époque de l'entretien, mes réponses, question. les réponses que j'ai fournies sont exactes. And, uh, the date of the written record was uh, shows that it was conducted in November 2009. Il est indiqué que and here you have the novembre assistance 2009. of uh, duty council provided uh, to your request through Wisu. That is Mr. Amor Moratir. And pursuant to uh, the rules of the ECCC internal rules, en application de la the chamber hands the floor first to the co-prosecutor co to put questions to this witness pour and the témoins. combined time for the co-prosecutors and les co the lead co-lawyers co and three court sessions. You may proceed. Vous avez la parole. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Good morning, Council. Good morning, Merci, Mr. Honorable. Witness. Bonjour, um, juge. As you Bonjour à toutes les parties. Bonjour, to Monsieur le témoin. The president just now, Comme vous venez um, de l'indiquer au Président, uh, vous avez témoigné devant le tribunal auparavant. Et devant d'autres procureurs, mon nom est Andrew Boyle. Je vais vous poser des questions au nom de l'accusation ce matin. Certains documents portent sur des informations que vous avez déjà produites et je vais vous demander des éclaircissements à ce sujet et je vais vous soumettre de nouveaux documents. Pour commencer, pouvez-vous dire à la Chambre quand vous avez rejoint la Khmer Rouge pour la première fois J'ai rejoint le Khmer Rouge depuis 1900, depuis les années 70. Question, où étiez-vous lorsque vous avez rejoint ce mouvement Réponse, c'était à la commune, commune d'Antassan, comme euh, district de Sanké, province de Tékéoune. Question, quelle position occupez-vous au sein des Khmer Rouge entre 1970, lorsque vous avez adhéré à ce mouvement, et 1975 I joined the resistance movement réponse, in uh, July 1970. De la résistance en juillet 1970. And about one and a half months later, Un mois et demi plus tard, environ, j'ai été Military to the district of military, de and about a year I was promoted to the provincial military. Et un an plus tard, j'ai été promu dans l'armée de la province de Takeo. Then I uh, successfully was promoted Puis uh, to become a regular force pros, des of promotions the successives. Southwest zone army. À l'armée de la zone sud-ouest. I uh, initially was a squad uh, uh, group 
soit leader, a group leader, a patron, deputy chief of a company, chief of company, deputy chief of battalion, commander of a battalion, deputy commander of a regiment, then commander of a regiment, until the liberation day. So my highest position was a commander of a regiment. A dont était celui de commandant de régiment. L'accusation. Merci pour cette information. Nous reviendrons sur les autres postes que vous avez occupés par la suite. Mais pour le moment, je vais me concentrer sur le poste que vous occupez au moment de l'assaut contre Phnom Penh le 17 avril 1975. À l'époque, étiez-vous responsable du bataillon spécial 203 de la zone sud-ouest. During the attack of Phnom Penh, I was deputy commander of a battalion and the division two of the Southwest Zone Army. De l'armée de la zone du Sud-Ouest. And was the number of that battalion two zero three? Le code de ce bataillon était-il le deux cent trois? It was a special battalion two or three. C'était le bataillon spécial deux cent trois. And you you just said that at the time of the attack on Phnom Penh, that you were the deputy of that battalion. Is that correct? You were the deputy of that battalion. Is that correct? You were the deputy of that battalion. Is that correct? You were the deputy of that I was the commander of that special battalion. Je t'ai commandant de ce bataillon spécial. Thank you. L'accusation. And when you when you participated in the attack on Phnom Penh, did you approach from the southwest zone towards Phnom Penh along National Road three and four? Passé par la zone sud-ouest en direction de Phnom Penh le long de la route nationale trois. Et de la route nationale 4. Le spearhead de notre armée spéciale était le point de notre armée spéciale et le point de notre armée spéciale était le point de notre armée spéciale et le point de notre armée spéciale était le point de notre armée spéciale et le point de notre armée spéciale était le point de notre armée spéciale et le point de notre armée spéciale était le point de notre armée spéciale au lieu où l'on entreposait des munitions. What brigade were you part of? Une question à quelle brigade appartenez-vous à l'époque? What brigade was Battalion 203 part of? Le bataillon 203 était attaché à quelle brigade? Let me tell the court that Battalion 203 was the Special Force and the the division. And this battalion was supervised by the division. Était supervisé par la division. I'd like to read to you something you said when you testified here last. This is the transcript E1 slash 193.1 Mr. Witness, this is what you said. In 1974, I became the commander of Battalion 203 in the southwest zone under the subordinate of Brigade Number 2. Is that correct that Battalion 203 was under Brigade Number 2? Était placé sous la responsabilité de la Brigade Number 2. That is correct. Oui, c'est exact. And can you tell the court who was in charge of Brigade Number 2? Who was your superior? Qui était votre supérieur? It was Sampat. 
Can you tell the court what instructions did Sambit give you uh, in preparing to attack Phnom Penh? instructions Sambit vous a donné au moment de la préparation de l'attaque de Phnom Penh? During the attack of Phnom Penh at the time, my special battalion was to attack quickly and uh, retreat quickly. That was the instruction. After we were successful in the attack at a specific target, we would return to our base. During the attack, in Phnom Penh, Phnom Penh, the plan was very clear. Who was in charge of which direction? And I, at the time, was responsible for the Kantok area where the ammunition was stored. And did some bit tell you about the plan to evacuate Phnom Penh? President, uh, please hold on, uh, Mr. Wines. You may now proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, all very interesting, but um, this is part of the second one. Mais il me semble que cela fait partie du premier, dossier, premier procès dans le cadre du deuxième dossier. Ce sont les mêmes questions qui ont déjà été posées ici, tandis qu'il a témoigné devant la Chambre. Donc la question ne me pose pas de problème en soi, mais il me semble qu'elle soit dénuée de pertinence à ce stade. L'accusation est bien sûr n'a pas de problème, Monsieur le Président. Je vous propose de poursuivre. Monsieur Schwenz, ce serait quand même intéressant de savoir où vous voulez en venir. L'accusation, j'allais le faire dans ma première question. On m'a demandé de ne pas poser de questions dirigées. C'est pourquoi je procède ainsi. Mais soit, je peux passer à ma deuxième question. Monsieur le témoin, j'aimerais vous demander la chose suivante. Avez-vous reçu une quelconque instruction selon laquelle vous deviez filtrer et repérer les soldats de l'ONOL dans le cadre de l'évacuation de Phnom Penh Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good morning to all of you. I'm going to object now uh, to the questions put by the Pope prosecutor. I'm feeling that uh, we're just repeating this witness's uh, testimony regarding the evacuation of Compen. This has already been dealt with. The reason this witness came back is to specifically speak about the armed conflict with Vietnam. And now so we're completely uh, outside of the point. So I object uh, to have him speak about uh, topics that were dealt with in the first uh, uh, case. If I may respond, Mr. President, uh, Mr. as with all witnesses, we are allowed to ask questions on any topic um, in, in regards to case two. Uh, the targeting of former Law and Soldiers and officials is part of case two two. Uh, this question is directly relevant, and I assure counsel that I will be getting uh, to aspects of armed conflict as well. I ask that I be asked to continue with this line of questions. C'est pourquoi je demande à ce que l'on me permette de poursuivre mon interrogatoire. If I, if I may respond, we're, we're continuously uh, reprimanded if we ask repetitive questions. The is going to be asking repetitive questions because whatever happened to Long Nol soldiers during the evacuation, whatever there was a Long Nol policy, he answered questions extensively um, and in, um, in 2013. So what's, what's the point? So what's the point? So what's the point? So what's the point? President, uh, the objection appears to be reasonable because the hearing in the, the previous case heard this matter already and all the transcripts from the case 002 slash 01 were included in this case. Your time is limited, so please focus on the specific facts adjudicated before this chamber. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, a witness, let me move on. Um, after, um, after the liberation of Phnom Penh, um, where was your? Did you remain in control of Special Battalion 203? Êtes-vous resté aux commandes 
du bataillon spécial 203. During the liberation of Phnom Penh, I was still Réponse. the commander of Special Battalion 203. Le commandant du bataillon spécial 203 lors de la libération de Phnom Penh. Uh, after Phnom Penh fell to the Khmer Rouge, Et where was your special de battalion de Penh aux mains des Khmer Rouge, uh, located? Votre bataillon where, spécial um, a été envoyé où? Where were you assigned to be located? Où vous a-t-on déployé? Let's say um, month after au cours du mois qui a suivi la chute de Phnom Penh. After the liberation of Phnom Penh, my special force was stationed at a place of village, close to a place of prison, for a period of three months. We were there to farm. Et nous étions là-bas pour cultiver. And after that three-month period, where did your special battalion go? Votre bataillon spécial a été envoyé où? After we went to Preso village or Pum Preso for three months, then we were moved to Takao province. Envoyé à la province de Takeo. Uh, and um, did you become a member Question. of the Communist Party of Kampuchea at some point after the liberation? Après la libération, êtes-vous jamais devenu membre du Parti communiste du Kampuchea démocratique? I became party members uh, in 1973. En 1973. Onwards. It was not after the liberation that I became the party's member. I was a member of the party from 1973. Thank you for that clarification. Um, you were just talking about being assigned to Takeo. When you first were assigned to Takeo, were you assigned uh, in a town or on the border? À la frontière, dans un village? First, we did not go directly through the border. We were stationed around Takao town. I was removed, I was transferred, in fact, from Special Battalion 203 and to Regiment 12, Division 12 as well. Et également division 12. Uh, when you were first transferred uh, to Takeo, how many Et lorsque l'on vous a envoyé à Takeo dans un premier zone, temps, combien army? de brigades y avait-il dans l'armée de la zone sud-ouest Réponse. I recall that brigade number two, Je me souviens qu'il y avait une brigade I became commander of regiment 12, lorsque je suis devenu uh, commandant du régiment 12, consisted of four regiments, la uh, regiment 4 régiments, 12, uh, 11, 12, 11, 13 and 14. 12, 13 et 14. Uh, and are you able to tell the court um, question est pour y dire à la chambre when you became uh, à quel the moment head of regiment 12 chef when were you promoted du régiment 12 à quel moment avez-vous été promu there was an announcement and the uh, headquarter of uh, the brigade at Phnom Klein on National Road Number Two. Sur la route nationale numéro deux. When I was moved moved from Phnom Penh, lorsque l'on m'a transféré I depuis Phnom Penh, I stopped. En route. Uh, Je me suis arrêté I stopped at uh, Phnom Klein, where uh, Phnom there was an Klein announcement to promote me. Une annonce a été faite 
cours de laquelle j'ai été promu. Vous souvenez-vous de la date de cette annonce Pourriez-vous nous donner une approximation du mois et de l'année C'était fin 1977. Let me read to you what you said uh, in your written record of interview. This is E3 slash 419. Uh, answer one. Um, you say, quote, during October 1976, I became chairman of Regiment 12, still subordinate to Brigade 2. Toujours subordonné à la Brigade Is that correct that in October of 1976 you became chairman of Regiment 12? C'est en octobre 1976 que vous êtes devenu président de ce régiment, chef de ce régiment. La date uh, in the document was correct. Uh, my memory does not serve so me well. Uh, it was in late 1976. That, was, that is clear in the document. When were you first posted to the border with Vietnam in Takeo? Avec le Vietnam à Takeo. When I was in charge of Regiment 12, in fact, the Regiment 12 was, had been posted at the border already. The soldiers had been there already, and I was sent to that location to supervise those soldiers to be the commander. And do you know when Regiment 12 was first sent to the border, even though you weren't in charge of it at that time? Even though you weren't in charge of it at that time? Even though you weren't in charge of it at that time? Even Brigade number two consisted of uh, regiments 11, 12, and 14, said uh, the winners. Those regiments had already been posted at the border already after the liberation of Phnom Penh. They uh, arrived at the border already in 1976 or 1977. Did the military structure of the southwest zone change at some point in 1976? Did the brigades, the regiments, the regiments, the regiments? I provided uh, a document, said the witness. In the document, it says uh, in late 1977, uh, the, the structure, military structures, uh, was changed. There was no longer Brigade Number no. 2, but there was Brigade 210, 230, 230 250, and 270. All, they were all brigades. In the translation, I heard late 1977. Um, in, in your written record of interview, answer four, you said late 1976 or early 1977. Uh, is that your recollection about when this change in structure took place? Is que c'est d'après vos souvenirs le moment auquel a eu lieu ce changement? It was in late 1976 
or early 1977, the modification or the change of structure did not uh, uh, take one or two months to be ready. So it was in late 1976 or early 1977. And was Regiment 12 subordinate to the new Brigade 210 after the change? nouvelle Brigade numéro 210 après le changement? Regiment 12 remained the same, but uh, Mais Division uh, 2 was changed and became Brigade 210. Elle est la Brigade 210. My regiment from that time onwards was under direction or supervision of uh, uh, Brigade 210. De la Brigade 210. Were all of all four of these new brigades posted Question. along the border? Est-ce que ces quatre nouvelles brigades ont été postées le nombre le long de la frontière? To my recollection, the four brigades was, were posted along the border. Let me briefly inform you. I was well informed of for my suivante. regiment 12. Bien au courant de ce qui Again, se dans mon régiment, le régiment 12. Brigade uh, 270 brigade was posted along Maton Le Bassac, close to Le Vietnamese Bassac, border, and Vietnam. 210 was posted uh, close to uh, Wing Te, near Chiramong Chiru. As for Brigade 250, it was posted uh, close to Kampot's uh, uh, border, Sambok Mwan area. All of those brigades uh, were posted along the border. They were not posted uh, uh, inside, the, in, the, in the town, in the central town. And can you tell us uh, approximately how many uh, soldiers were there in each of these brigades? Combien de soldats approximativement comptaient chacune des brigades? I do not know how many soldiers uh, there were in uh, one specific brigade. And as for Brigade 210, there were around uh, 1,000 uh, 1, to 1, 1,800 to 2,000 soldiers. Do you know why these brigades had been posted along the border with Vietnam? I do not know the specific reasons. The duties and obligation of the soldiers were to defend the territory. We were told to go to specific targets or direction to defend the territory. And who were you receiving these instructions from when you were told to go to specific targets to defend the territory? Who told you that you had to go to a specific target to defend the territory? The instruction was from the division. L'instruction est maintenant la division. And I was within the regiment. I was part of the regiment. Et moi, dans le Every country uh, has 
had their own uh, soldiers uh, along the border, so we had to deploy our soldiers as well uh, to the border. During the period that you were in Takao, was there fighting with Vietnam? Vietnam? In mid-1977, there seems, there seems to be a, a dispute in Takao. The, the dispute started to happen from that year. And when you talk about disputes, are you talking about uh, armies fighting one another using weapons? Are you talking about disputes when you talk about armies fighting one another It means in 1977, Cambodia and Vietnam started to exchange the fire uh, because of uh, the territorial integrity. Was Regiment 12 ever posted in an area named Angkor Bore along the Vietnamese border? Dans une région appelée Angkor Bore, le long de la frontière avec le Vietnam. Regiment 12 was not. Posted at Angkor Bore. Special Battalion 203 was first posted at uh, Phnom Bore. And another regiment was posted at Phnom Den, the Wing Tay location. Was your regiment uh, engaged in combat um, with Vietnam? Est-ce que votre régiment a eu à combattre contre le Vietnam? Prépare à des combats contre le Vietnam. Good afternoon, Tom. My réponse. The regiment, uh, regiment was one attacking, fighting with Vietnamese at uh, Prechik Wing Tay. À, contre les Vietnam, at the border. À Day, à la frontière. The uh, conflict or the dispute started from uh, the small portion of territory. Le conflit est parti d'un can you describe the fighting that your regiment Question. engaged with? Et pourriez-vous nous décrire in with Vietnam? les combats avec le Vietnam auquel a pris par votre régiment? In 1977, the fighting between uh, Cambodia and Vietnam was not en yet intensified. It was les combats entre le sporadic. Et le Vietnam pas encore and it happened on uh, location from one location to another location. It did not Il happen on a constant basis. Les combats n'étaient pas constants. Il se déplaçait d'un endroit à l'autre. During that time, did Vietnamese forces Question. enter into Cambodian territory les forces during the fighting? Pendant les combats, ont pénétré à l'intérieur du territoire cambodgien. To my recollection, in late 1977, the Vietnamese troops were penetrating uh, into Takao province uh, uh, very far Takeo. from the compared to the border. De la frontière, à des terres. Let me read to you what you said when you last appeared regarding this. Um, Voici ce this que vous avez dit lors de votre 193.1 transcript. 
dernière comparaison, 193.1, voici ce que vous dites à propos de ce conflit. En 1977, en Takeo et dans la province de Kampot, et aussi dans les provinces de Kampot, il y a eu des combats importants et les Vietnamiens of border to Kao province. But the Khmer Rouge soldiers had to counter back, and there was a tug of war. And we could drive them back all the way to the Vietnamese and Cambodian border, but they came back. So it was a back and forth fighting. It's like tug of war. Then you go on to say the attack back and forth sometimes took place for one month or two months. So we drove them back. And then they Parfois, pushed us back, and the situation mois, was similar to that Nous occurred in Spire You seem to be indicating in your prior testimony um, that conflicts were beginning, at least in this quote, as early as early 1977. Is that correct? En 1977. The dispute or conflict started from early 1977, and the fighting was fierce in late 1977. We pushed back, and they pushed us back, and we could only uh, push the Vietnam back uh, to the border, but. For Vietnamese troops, they could be able to push, uh, push us uh, into our territory far from the border. In the quote I just read to you, you're also describing fierce fighting that occurred in Kampot. Vous parlez également de uh, combats acharnés qui ont eu lieu dans la province de Kampot. Est-ce que Kampot vous avez été à un province? moment donné aussi post été posté à Kampot? I was not posted uh, at Kampot, but uh, we uh, received uh, information from uh, other soldiers that uh, cooperated with my uh, troops. Nous ont donné des informations d'autres soldats qui coopéraient avec Were you personally wounded in this Question. fighting that occurred with Vietnam in 1977? Personnellement au cours de ces combats avec le Vietnam en j'ai Tandis que je livrais bataille à Prakit Vinte. How did that wound occur? Comment avez-vous été blessé? I was wounded by a B-40 grenade launcher. Une réponse. J'étais blessé par un lance grenade P-40. Question. Beaucoup de soldats de votre régiment ont-ils été blessés lors des combats avec le Vietnam? Il est typical, uh, and it is my belief that uh, Vietnam, a country was larger than us, and they had more que Army les and more vietnamiens weapons étaient plus grands que le nôtre so et les Vietnamiens étaient mieux armés que nous. Fight with we had more On a donc subi d'énormes pertes deaths? à chaque combat contre les Vietnamiens. L'accusation, les pertes incluaient-ils les décès Yes, y avait-il uh, 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 Oui, outre les blessés, certains soldats sont morts. How many of your Question. Were killed, uh, Vous pu estimer combien Vietnam de membres de votre régiment avaient été tués lors des combats contre les Vietnamiens en 
during the uh, fighting Réponse. in mid 77 at uh, Project Vinte, that is at the Phnom Penh. There was a battalion Phnom under our regiment, Il y avait and un in that battalion, notre battalion 170 soldiers uh, were killed. De ce ont été at tués. the time, they were surrounded uh, and ambushed uh, by Vietnamese troops, encerclés, and they were hit uh, by tanks and aerial bombardment. Qui, uh, and this number of soldiers died uh, during the course of fighting for one day et and one night. Sont morts lors des qui ont duré un and, jour uh, et une nuit. And that was uh, the largest casualty that happens to a battalion under my regiment. Le plus grand de que nous avons subi dans you just mentioned the, uh, the use of tanks and aerial bombardment. Um, des chars et des um, that, um, Vietnam uh, was using to planes to drop bombs uh, on your positions. Is pour that des your testimony? Est-ce ce que l'on doit comprendre de votre témoignage? At that time, there were not uh, many uh, bombs. À cette époque, il n'y avait pas beaucoup de bombes. Which were by large planes. However, there were small planes that, that dropped some rocket uh, onto us. Mais de petits and they avions had plenty of artillery and tanks. Et euh, ils avaient d'énormes pièces de et de chars. From your side, what sort of armaments were you de votre côté, quel type d'armement aviez-vous pour lutter contre les Vietnamiens For, uh, the, uh, Cambodian side, Réponse du côté cambodgien Tanks nous and avions également des chars et However, des pièces d'artillerie, mais nos munitions étaient limitées. And was your regiment able to kill some Vietnamese soldiers during Votre the fighting? régiment a-t-il pu tuer des soldats vietnamiens lors des combats? I believe that. Uh, Vietnamese troops Réponse. were more superior than us, and for that reason, we did not know the exact casualties or if there were some of their soldiers died. We did not have the figure. Si certains de leurs soldats sont morts, je n'ai pas les chiffres. Um, when were you in Takeo until? When did you leave Takeo? Jusqu'à quand êtes-vous resté à Takeo? Quand avez-vous quitté Takeo? I left Takeo province for Svairing province. J'ai quitté la province de Takeo pour aller In à la province de Svairing en mai 1978. Le uh, chef supérieur m'a demandé uh, de quitter la province Swiring de Takeo province. pour aller à Svairing. And the preparation was uh, started in late 77, but I left in mid 78. Mais je suis parti au milieu de l'année 1978. Indeed, um, there is a little bit of a discrepancy. You, you told the investigating judges um, in answer five of your written record of interview that you went to Zvairing in mid 1978. Um, de however, votre brevet d'audition, vous dites être allé à Sverim en 1978. Or, um, dans votre déposition devant la Chambre, à 10h14, vous dites so, que c'était en um, début 1978. Est-ce que vous pouvez préciser uh, les préparatifs Les préparatifs ont commencé en fin 1977 et vous êtes allé à Sverim en 1978. Est-ce que vous pouvez confirmer cela In principle, I had to leave in early 1978. And before I left, uh, there was an arrangement for me to head a division and uh, rather a brigade. And then I had to uh, gather uh, soldiers for these uh, three, for these uh, brigades. Et rassembler des soldats pour le compte de cette brigade. So. Actually, I had to gather the forces of, to 
field for regiments in order to have the number up to a, a brigade. And by the time I could mobilize those forces, it was in mid-78. Et je n'ai pu constituer ces forces que juste au milieu de l'année 1968. Les combats avec les Vietnamiens dans la province de Takeo se sont-ils poursuivis jusqu'à ce que vous partiez pour Svai Rieng? When I traveled from Takeo to Swahirian province, and a little bit of the after the provincial town of Swahirian, that is in Prasot district, Et just by the time we arrived, we were welcomed Prasot, by the gunfires from the Vietnamese side. So by the time we arrived, two uh, uh, tracks of soldiers were lost. That is the newly force that I uh, gathered, arrivé, and that happened in the forces, Prasot district. Les nouvelles forces que j'avais constituées, ça s'est passé dans le district de Prasot. I, I just want to clarify um, the, this attack um, that you're précision. describing in Prasot district. This is in Svairing, district de um, or was this in Takeo before you left? Était-ce à Svairing ou à Takeo avant votre départ? Allow me to uh, clarify it. Uh, Prasot district was located in Swahirian province. By the time I led my forces to uh, Swahirian, and in Prasot district, we were attacked by the Vietnamese sides, and our tracks, uh, two tracks, uh, were burned. Then the fighting continued day and night, and then there were successive casualties. I myself was also wounded in the fighting in Swahirian. Lors de I was wounded by shrapnel uh, from a, a tank a fire. I had to char. be hospitalized for about three months. Then I had to return to uh, the front. But Puis by that time, the Vietnam's large scale incursion took place. When you left to move to Zvairing, was there still fighting in Takeo with Vietnam? Les combats avaient-ils toujours lieu à Sverring, à Takeo, pardon, contre les Vietnamiens? In the camp, uh, the uh, fighting was Réponse ongoing, although it was uh, less uh, intensified. Il avait toujours des combats, and for that reason, the uh, Kampuchean uh, leadership uh, reassigned some of our forces to uh, Sverring. Certaines de nos forces à Sverring. Were you ever aware Question. of Khmer Rouge forces in Takeo entering into Vietnam to fight Takeo within Vietnam's territory? Vietnam pour mener des combats à l'intérieur du territoire vietnamien. I'd like to inform uh, Mr. President, judge, the judges, that uh, it is the strategy of war Monsieur le témoin et Monsieur le Président, honorable juge, that je dois if vous dire uh, que un de entered our territory, we would not be able to sustain si the heat, and for that reason we had to hit them from behind. On était, on ne pas and uh, the main purpose is not uh, to liberate the Kampuji ground land, but our intention was that we are able for them to retreat Kampuchea. to the backs to fight against us, so that they retreat themselves de from our territory. And I believe that everywhere they use the same art of war, frontière. so we had to attack them from behind in order Ils to contain them. Euh, Adopter la même tactique, il and fallait so qu'on les attaque par derrière uh, pour pouvoir les contenir. Question, votre régiment a participé à cette attaque à l'arrière afin de pousser les Vietnamiens à quitter le territoire cambodgien. Est-ce exact? Yes. La réponse, oui. Mr. President, I'm, I'm, I'm mindful of the time. I know we started about 15 minutes late. I'm in your hands as to how you would like to proceed. Commencé 15 minutes plus tard. Tout dépend de comment vous voulez poursuivre. 
Je bon. vois que le temps avance. Je vais continuer à poser uh, des questions et le président, vous pouvez continuer à uh, interroger le témoin. Et en Thank tant you, que président, President. je vais décider de, um, de la place. Are, uh, Mr. Witness, are you Monsieur familiar le président, with Monsieur le témoin, um, uh, the province across from Takeo in Vietnam, Angyang province? Connaissez-vous la province d'Anguian? Une province frontalière avec le Vietnam. Uh, yeah, family only with, uh, province, that is, uh, Je connais la province uh, de Chok Dok, uniquement Chuk connue également comme Chok Mong Chuk. Let me uh, read to you um, a document that we have on the case file. This is B3 slash 1257. Um, it's a Vietnamese news report of Khmer Rouge border encroachments from 18 January uh, 1978. Um, and this is at English 00 French 00 and this is what it says, quote, at 500 hours on 11th January, the 12th and 14th Regiments, 2nd Division of the Cambodian Armed Forces, crossed the border and attacked the areas south and northeast of Tinh Bien, Anguian province. They committed many crimes against the local people, killing and wounding 23 civilians, setting fire to 213 homes, burning many tons of rice and driving away 30 buffaloes and oxen. Our local armed forces counterattacked and annihilated 215, duly punishing the nibblers and crime perpetrators and forcing them to withdraw to the other side of the border. Afterwards, Cambodian armed forces' artillery positions situated deep in Cambodian territory opened fire on these areas. Close quote. Mr. Witness, um, this uh, news report mentions the 12th Regiment of the 2nd Division. Was that your regiment? S'agit-il de votre régiment? I do not think that our regiment uh, wants uh, to attack the Vietnamese residents. Soit allé attaquer because uh, when we were in fighting with the Vietnam, we could not even cross the uh, Wing Tay. Uh, so for that Pratique reason, Vintay. I don't know about this report. Je ne sais non rien au sujet de ce rapport de Mr. Witness, you just told us that at times you would enter into Vietnamese territory to attack en tout cas parfois vous allez en territoire vietnamien pour attaquer les soldats vietnamiens so, par derrière. Um, it's, that seems to contradict your testimony Cela that you just gave that you didn't go beyond uh, Prichik Vinh, the area that you were in, in Takeo. Uh, Isn't that correct? De Prat, de Prat Vinté, à Takeo, là où vous étiez positionné. Yes, exact. Allow me to explain it to you. Réponse. The uh, fighting is uh, back and forth, but uh, it would not be possible for us to enter deep camps. into the uh, Vietnamese territory. We could uh, probably uh, pass the uh, Prachik Wing Tay or uh, Wing Tay Canal for 100 meters, and then we had to be retreated because we would be uh, fought back by the Vietnamese side. We never reached the residential area on the Vietnamese side. We could probably enter uh, half a kilometer or one kilometer into the Vietnamese territory that is at the base of the mountain, and then we would be attacked and we had to retreat. And this happened to our regiment as well. We could not uh, compare our forces to uh, the uh, Vietnamese forces because they were more superior. 
aux forces and vietnamiennes car elles étaient plus supérieures. Elles étaient supérieures en nombre. Et lorsque nous allions sur leur territoire, nous essuyons des pertes et nous ne pouvions même pas ramener nos soldats blessés. Le président, je vous remercie. Nous allons prendre une courte pause pour reprendre à 10h30. Monsieur le Sébastien, nous allons vous occuper du témoin pendant la pause. Et le ramener au côté de son avocat de permanent dans le prétoire à 10h30. Suspension de l'audience.